Replacing a motor on the Onefinity CNC Elite Series. Starting with a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to remove the two screws holding the plastic cap on top of the motor driver. Once those screws are removed, we can lift that cap off of our motor driver, making sure that we don't catch the wires in that process. In some cases, you may need to remove the entire board from the motor driver. Do this by pulling the two pins for the power out. Then using a small flathead screwdriver, we can slowly pry up the edges until we can get enough of a surface to grasp and lift off of the motor. Most users who will need to swap a motor will just need to remove the wires by using a small flathead screwdriver. We'll remove the wires, but it's always good to remember and write down where your wires came out of. With our wires disconnected, we can now remove the motor from the end of the rail. We'll need a 4mm hex key and an 8mm wrench to remove the bolts and nuts holding the motor to the end of the rail. Once all four bolts and nuts are removed, we can simply pull the motor from the end of the foot. It may take a little bit of force to pull it from the coupler. As you can see here, half of the coupler has come off with the motor. We're going to remove that and attach it to our new replacement motor. We'll need a 2.5 millimeter hex key to remove the two set screws holding it onto the motor shaft. With our old motor completely removed, we can now use that same Phillips head screwdriver to remove the cover from our new motor, exposing the wiring terminals. Before we reinstall our wiring, we'll want to install the coupler back on the motor shaft. We want to line up the coupler so that the set screw on the side will contact the flat side of the motor shaft. Once we've got that lined up, we use the same 2.5 millimeter hex key to re-tighten the coupler back onto the motor shaft of our new motor. With our coupler reinstalled, we'll want to line up our coupler so that it will index with the other half of the coupler still attached to the ball screw. Turn the motor shaft to line it up, then simply push it into place. This may take a little bit of force. With that now put back into place, we can reinstall our bolts and our nuts, tightening down with a 4mm hex key and our 8mm crescent wrench. With the motor now bolted back in place, we can now reinsert our wiring and secure it. I'm also including a small photo on the bottom left corner of this image for what the wiring should look like. After we've secured everything, we'll give it just a little tug to make sure that nothing is loose or going to come out of its correct terminal. Lastly, we can reinstall the top of the motor driver, making sure that we separate the wires the powered wires will go on the left side and the rest of the wires will come out the right side. We'll use our Phillips head screwdriver to tighten down our two screws and that completes changing out a motor on the Onefinity Elite Series.